Hey guys, welcome back to Analytic Insights. Today, we're gonna go over how to use Zoho Data Prep inside of Zoho Analytics to prepare and clean our data before we get it usable and in analytics. Now, you can see I've already jumped right in and I'm right in the uh, Zoho Analytics. First, what we're gonna have to do is bring in our data. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna show you, just to give you a little example on what we're using here, I've created just this practice uh, data Google Sheet here, and all it is is a pretend customer survey, right? So it has timestamp, names, where it's coming from, the rating the person gave our service, and then the location. So what we have here is just very simple data so that I'm able to show you the power of Zoho Data Prep. So first off, let's bring it in. We're going to go ahead and click Create create a new table since it's Google Sheets I'm gonna do it from a cloud storage and I'll just give it the same name to keep it simple so customer survey and then what I can do is browse and click customer survey okay and next perfect so now what we have here is the preview of everything and so all we, all we really need to do right here is say, yes, this is the correct data we wanna bring in. So I'm gonna go ahead and move myself over here. I might do that a couple times just to give you a better view, but we're gonna hit next. And then it's gonna bring up the true part uh, of where we really wanna get into cleaning and preparing. Now it gives you this view of your data. And the most important things here to think about and to do is to make sure that your data types are correct. Now you can see my column headings again and some of the preview information. I have timestamp column, which is date, which that's perfectly fine. Um, looks like first name, last name, source, and location all came in as plain text. So this is just Zoho guessing what data type it is. And it, with this simple data, it did a really good job. When it gets more complex, you will definitely have to keep track of this and change it. All you really need to do to change it here is hit this drop down and select whatever data type it is. So mine is simple. Everything's plain text, date, positive number, since my survey only goes from one to five. So that's easy. Now, here comes data prep. If there's anything more complex, than simply changing the data type, we need to use Zoho Data Prep. I love using Zoho Data Prep for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that when I use Zoho Data Prep, I'm able to add formulas and clean it up nicely so that I don't have to make a mess of my SQL query doing that. I also like using it because I tend to level out in in Zoho Analytics when I'm writing SQL queries. So what I mean by that is you can use subqueries within Zoho Analytics SQL window, but you can only use up to one subquery, I believe. Uh, after that, it will give you a, a too many level error. And using Zoho Data Prep, it allows you to do some of that prep work so that you don't level out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and click prepare data and you can see this is the Zoho data prep icon here if you click view data quality or prepare data they're both going to take you to Zoho data prep uh, that's kind of baked into Zoho analytics but you're going to be able to see kind of different pages so I'm going to go ahead and click prepare data all right here's Zoho data prep it's very simple and if you used something like power bi you know power query editor it's the exact same idea but zoho version now over here on the right hand side the first thing you'll notice is that it shows my data quality now since this is a very practice set i guess i just completely made it up it's going to be pretty nice you will definitely not find that in the real world as is my experience now, 97.7% of my data is good. I, you can see there's no invalid data, which means that there's an incorrect data type in the column. And then I've got a little bit of missing data. If you pay attention up here where a mouse is, on the tops of these columns, 
the full length of the column or the full width, excuse me, is green. And that means everything is 100% valid. So nothing's missing, no, no fields are null or blank, and you're good to go there. Now when I scroll over, you can see that I, this 2.2% that I'm missing is all in this column. Now such, since it's such a small and simple data set, you can see that I'm just missing two fields, but this gray bar tells me that I am missing something in that column. Now, you can notice that these are all the exact same columns that I brought in previously. It's the same stuff from our Google Sheet, so it makes it easy to view there. Now, to go about making actual changes, what we're gonna do is come up here and go to Rule Set. Now, this, as I mentioned before, is just like the query editor in Power BI, and it's gonna track every single change or alteration that you make to this data set so that you can actually go back and remove it or change the order of things, whatever you need to do to make sure it's as good as it can be before you start using it in Zoho Analytics. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and look at it and see what changes need to be made and then we'll, then we'll start using data prep to make the changes. I don't think there's any data type things that we need to change, but I did notice here that there's first name and a last name column. Now, most of the time when people look at a list, it's much easier just to see the full name. And so that's what I wanna do here. I'm gonna go ahead and concatenate these. So I don't have to do it in my SQL query, it'll just be right here. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and click, um, I actually like starting with the first. So I'm gonna select this down and click merge. Now it's gonna create a new column and I'm gonna call that full name. And you'll see right here, delete original columns after merge. I'm gonna go ahead and click that because I only want the full name column to stay in there. I don't care to have first name, last name, and full name as three separate columns. So now we're gonna to get to building it. And you can see in green, it actually shows you a preview of what you are building. Now we have our first name automatically in there because we did the drop down on the first name we want a separator of some type. So you can, you can type in a comma for the separator or this little backslash, whatever you want as a separator. What I wanna do here is actually click this, add white space and click white space. So there will just be a space between the first and last name. So now you can see this is what it's gonna look like when we apply it. It's just gonna be first and last name. And since I click this, it's gonna delete the just single first and last name columns. Now there's a lot of other things you can do. You can filter it where it only equals one name or you can sort it by all sorts of different stuff. All I'm gonna do here is a simple uh, transformation and apply it. Now, once this applies, you can see our first and last name columns are gone, but our full name remains. And one last thing you can see here that I wanna mention is there's that little teeny tiny dot um, might even need glasses to see that one, but you can see that that dot means there's just a space in it. Now, one other thing I, I noticed that we might want to change is filling in these blanks. Now, there's a lot of ways you can do that, and it's going to depend on your data team and, and your process for that. But I'm going to go ahead and click down again, and you can see all these different options of everything I could possibly do to alter these columns to get it prepared for Zoho Analytics and, and get it usable. Right now, let's go ahead and click Fill Empty Cells. And so it's gonna show us what it's gonna do again right here in green. Um, right now, it's currently saying, I'm gonna take this and just do the previous cell. So you can see this one's four, so it's just gonna do previous cell, which is four, so this is gonna be three, which is three. I don't wanna do that. I think I'm just gonna go the easier route and do average of the whole column. So when I go ahead and click apply here, and I apologize, my head's right there in the way, we're gonna see that it fills it in and this whole green, the whole width of the column is now green. There's no more missing data. And over here, the overall data is 100% clean. Now, another thing we could do here is go ahead and say, you know, we could actually, let's go ahead and 
get duplicates out. I just noticed that. So it looks like there is a Susan Wilson, Susan Wilson. So these two rows are exactly duplicated. And there might even be another one if we look closely. Oh, yes. Look at that. John Johnson is also duplicated exactly. So makes it super simple in here. All we have to do is go to transform, deduplicate. We want to deduplicate by um, column here. Columns to deduplicate. We're going to go by um, full name. And you know what? Let's actually try, see if it will let me do this. Deduplicate, row wise. I think this is going to be more of what we want. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. All right. So we can either ignore the case and ignore the white space if you have some issues like that. But in our case, all we need to do is actually verify that this is, these are the actual duplicates we want to get rid of, which they are, as we already mentioned. So I'm going to go ahead and click remove duplicates. Perfect. So now that that is loaded, we can see that we went from I'll jump back to our raw data. We went from all this information with some missing stuff, separated names, um, duplicates in there, to very much cleaned up data. Full name, nothing's missing, and we have no duplicates anymore. There are, as I mentioned, so many different ways you can change every single column and every data type. Um, make sure you do what's best for you and what's best for your data. Once you are finished cleaning everything up, you can come over here to rule set, make sure everything's in order, how you want it and click apply changes. Now, when you apply these changes, you'll see that it doesn't, it, it kicks us back into this, bring this information in kind of window, but it adds this data flow imported data. So what it does is says we're bringing in the data now from Google Drive. We are then taking it into Zoho Data Prep. And now it's showing us the preview is what is actually going to go into Zoho Analytics. I'm going to go ahead and click Create Table. It applies all those changes. And every single time it pulls in from your data source, if you have this schedule import all set up, Every single time, it's going to go through and do those data preparations, the cleaning, everything we just did, it's going to do over and over again for us. So if I go ahead and close it, now we can see, if I get rid of that pop-up, our nice clean data that we can work with <clears throat> and do everything we need to. All right, guys, one last thing that we want to check now that we've already created everything, we want to go ahead and click down here on the left-hand side to data sources. I've clicked Google Drive where my customer survey information is coming in and just make sure everything is set up as you want. You can now see if it's scheduled, when it's going to be next scheduled, where it's coming from, and you can edit setup, refetch it, do anything you need to to manage it. Last little piece here is you can see the data flow. You can see it's coming in through Google Drive. It's then making our changes here and it's saved into our customer survey table. All right, this is all I wanted to share for Zoho Data Prep. There's way more we can go into. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.